all right what's going on guys um hopefully you can hear me it is a little windy today but it's a nicer day nonetheless just at a local park here and i was gonna go over the final um cosmetic changes that i've done to this car um, in the last couple of months so figured i'd give you a rundown on what i think is probably going to be the final um, additions to this car other than keeping up with maintenance and paint touch-ups here and there so without further ado we'll go ahead and get started with the front end so if you follow along um, i posted a video a couple months back about some other cosmetic changes i've made to this car and uh, those were pretty small compared to what i've done now and so as you can see above the hood or on the hood i have added a wind deflector um, from Subaru and I will link all the parts in the description. Um, I saw it on one of the forums for the older wagons and the 2.5 RS's and I found one, saw it and I was like man that looks pretty good and I think it kind of makes the front end a completely different look um, compared to what it was beforehand and so I don't know. I've never really been a huge fan of the hood deflectors or the wind deflectors on the hood, but I think this one really makes this car change. And of course I have the OEM um, front grille in there. I might change it over to the JDM grille again. The paint is a little faded on there, but nonetheless it gives it the, <coughs> the typical Subaru look on the front. And then as we go lower, we can see that I have added a front lip to this. Now this lip isn't exactly 100% fitting correctly. Um, if you look really closely you can see that it kind of bulges out in some spots which most lips aren't going to be perfect anyway. And then here over on the side I have it tapped in there with some screws and then of course the there's a hole there on the front where the top screw um, or not screw but the clip is going into the bumper. It's held on there nicely for about a couple thousand miles now, so not too much to worry about other than fitment. So that's what it looks like. It looks good for the most part. This car's got its dings and dents everywhere, but honestly, for a $60 lip off of eBay, I can't be mad about it. I mean, this changes the look completely. And as you can see underneath, a little bit wonky because like I said it's not 100% fit for this car. It is for the 93 to 2001 Impreza um, sedan and the RS so um, the wagon bumper it's just a little bit different. I'm sure I could tweak it to make it almost 100% but as for now that's how it sits and again it looks pretty good just to change the complete front end of the car. And as you can see on the headlights, I've changed those from the OEM JDM glass headlights to the Spec-D tuning headlights. And these are, I believe, the 97 to 2001 Impreza. But I was really digging the black with the amber um, side lights. So, um, so I went with those and again, it's just completely changed the whole front end of this car. And if you didn't see in the other video, I did post a video on how to install those. Really simple, not a whole lot of work needs to be done to get those in and out and change to whatever headlight style you want. So I have those and for the other cosmetic change, I have what they call an easy lip. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's a side skirt, it's really just a rubber um, trim, but as you can see, at a distance and up close, it almost looks like a side skirt um, attached to the rubber panels. And all that was is 3M tape and some um, adhesive mounting spray. Uh, call me Ricer, but I got tired of looking for um, the OEM side skirts for these cars and if you know anything about these older Subarus people hold on to those side skirts or they're asking a lot of money for them and with this car being 23 years old and showing its age I just 
just can't justify spending $500 on something that's cosmetic. Um, these spend about 50 bucks, I think, for both sides, and they came with a little extra. Um, Amazon special, again, call me racer, but for 50 bucks and cleaning up the damaged pinch welds, it does look, you know, pretty good for what it is. And again, showing some signs of rust and wear. I'm gonna hopefully get that fixed here soon. Quarter panels look good on this side, but uh, the rocker panels and the pinch welds are pretty much shot on this car. So, um, as far as cosmetic, that's all I've added. I have touched up on some little things. It's not the greatest work, but I'm just trying to keep this thing presentable. I'll throw some pictures on here, but my windshield wipers were pretty rusted, so I touched up the paint on there. The camera would focus. And then uh, the engine bay I did touch up the uh, alternator cover. touching up some paint spots and getting these uh, cosmetic pieces added to the car. Now, I'm hoping to get it into Boxerfest again this year. Um, I had a great time last year, but yeah, I guess I won't waste any more time here, but really enjoying this car still. Um, going on four years of having it and just all around awesome car. I love this thing. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I'll place all of the parts and additions that I've done again in the description. And I will talk to you guys later.